Hey, it's Jeff Chubb with EXP Realty, well, and my dog Annie. Um, working from home today, and I was planning on getting a lot of stuff done, but some things have really caught my eye, things that I really wanted to, you know, quickly talk to my uh, current clients, my, uh, whether you're selling or buying, as well as any prospective buyers or sellers, because there's so, some profound things going on in our market right now, which is not being reported, nobody really knows about it. Um, and no really explanation why. So let's get right down to it. The biggest thing right now is inventory is surging in the state of Massachusetts in the last two weeks. And I do mean surging. Um, in the last two weeks, we have seen a 37% increase in the amount of single family homes on the market. So on May 10th of uh, this year, we had 2,938 single family homes on the market. Compared to today, May 24th, we actually have 4,020 nine single family homes on the market. You can tell how ill prepared I am working from home. I had to grab one of my kids uh, construction paper, purple, pretty. I've got two girls by the way. So huge 37% increase in the amount of inventory currently on the market. Now what's crazy is, is really where's this inventory coming from? Well, there's two places. The actual amount of sales for single families is down for the last two weeks. While, meanwhile, we've actually been listing more properties. So for example, on May 10th, in the week leading up to May 10th, I should say, we listed 1,305 uh, single family homes throughout the state. And this is compared to 1,648 last week. And meanwhile, in that week leading up to May 10th, we put 1,550 single family homes under agreement. And our last week, we only put 1,333 homes under agreement. So there's been a huge imbalance where all of a sudden we're listing more and selling less. And that's what's made it for a 37% increase in the amount of single families currently on the market. Meanwhile, condos not faring as bad, but their inventory is up. Uh, inventory for condos is up 16.7%. Now listen, if you're a buyer, this is some of the greatest news you could have asked for. If you're a seller, you know, the best way I can kind of say it is it was a boiling hot water on max high and the amount of heat's just been turned down slightly. It's still a really good, strong seller's market, but for buyers, there's quite frankly, there might be some opportunity uh, for you there that you might not have seen, um, you know, just two, three, four weeks ago. Now it is from town to town. For example, at Waltham, I just happened to take a look there. Their inventory is up 56% in the last month. Quincy's up 25%. Danvers, for example, is up 140% for single families in one month. Framingham's up 43%. But here's what's interesting. In Brockton, there was only one additional single family on the market. So that's only about a 3% increase. And heck, I, I looked at Bridgewater and inventory actually went down where you had 11 homes for sale one month ago and only nine single family homes down uh, for sale today. So an 18% decrease in the amount of inventory on the market. So it is a little pockety, but in all of the state of Massachusetts, we have seen a 37% increase in the amount of single family homes on the market. So if you're one of those buyers that have been waiting on the sideline, or quite frankly, you've gotten buyer fatigue, which really, I don't blame you. This has been a tough market for you. There might be some good values out there, or maybe not necessarily values, actually the ability to be able to buy a house. So um, if you have any questions, if you're wondering about any specific markets, then please reach out to me. I'm happy to share the data with you. Uh, the best way to get a hold of me is 617-480-2600 or online at boston2.com and by email, which probably is the easiest for everybody, is uh, jeff, J-E-F-F, -F, at boston2, that's the number two, dot com. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and if I can help you in any way.